So how has y'all's Labor Day weekend been going? Y'all do anything exciting? Cook out? Go to the lake? Go fishing? Anything? Or was this Labor Day filled with labor? Because that's what my weekend has been filled with so far. But it's a pretty day in the neighborhood. Still test driving this uh, uh, Infinity. 2011 model I really like it the only thing that I am seeing about it it drinks a little gas about uh, 15 to 18 miles a gallon seems like what it's doing but I've been sitting a little bit too you know so you don't get any miles per gallon when you're just sitting you get minutes to gallon i wonder if that's such a thing minutes to gallon minutes per gallon <laughs> anyway but i don't know and i was fooling with this xm radio you know they have a free trial that you can sign up for and i've been trying to mess with that and it's like a far off radio station it'll come in real good and then it just goes out and i haven't had any problems at all with the uh little chevy cruise maybe this has got a bad antenna on it y'all got any ideas i'm all ears heading over to cc's pizza right now to pick up a grubhub order yeah, it's been a fairly busy morning, but uh, it's, what time is it now, uh, 4.40? That's something else about this Infinity, is there's no digital clock. It's just got a little, uh, if I decide to keep this car, I'll show you all a little more about it, but it don't really matter if I don't keep it anyway, but it's got like an analog clock. You have to kind of look at it, look at it again. Because I'm so used to looking at digital. Anyhow. But anyway, the lunch rush should... Lunch rush. But anyway, the dinner rush should start kicking in pretty quick. Yesterday was actually a pretty good day. Okay, I've heard of all kinds of pizzas. But what in the world? A mac and cheese pizza? Macaroni and cheese on a pizza. Never really thought about that one. Thought about that one. I'm going to puberty. <laughs> uh, okay, what you gonna do, fella? You're not gonna park there, cause uh, there ain't no way. And if you keep going that way, it's a curb. So I'd suggest taking my spot. Here I am talking to people. <laughs> and not you people, but the people in the car. <sighs> well, you know, I've, I've dropped off a couple of orders, but I don't know. This car keeps running through my mind. And how about y'all help me make up my mind? Would that be asking too much? I don't know. I'm gonna get over here to the uh, park and get out with the camera and show you the outside. And then I'll show you the inside. And then I'll tell you the things that I do know and, and things I don't know. Uh, well, I can't tell you what I don't know, I don't guess. So that didn't make much sense. Strike that. Um, but y'all just hang loose for a minute. If, if this doesn't interest you at all, just go ahead and say bye-bye and I'll see you in the next video. But you want to help old Dash and Grandpa out making a decision? Your opinion matters. You matter. So y'all hang loose for just a minute. Let me get over here to the park. Let's roll some B-roll right here.
Okay, now, there's obviously the trunk, but granted it's a little dirty, it rained yesterday, so it doesn't look as good as it did, but I don't know if you can tell, maybe you can tell this way, see where the shine versus the dull, it's just this quarter panel, and right up here, and right through here, where the paint is starting to fade. So I don't know. It's got some little scratches and little dings here and there. The handle scratched up, obviously, by somebody's rings. But it does have good tires. I don't know if y'all can really tell. You know, it's my fingernail, or, you know, to my covering my fingernail. These are, uh, I think they were Falcon tires. Granted, I just put brand new Continentals on the cruise, but they won't fit on here. And there's like rock chips on the hood. You know, I mean, it, this is like not major stuff. Um, all in all, body-wise, it's pretty straight. Other than the paint being a little bit bad. There's a little dent right there. I just noticed that one. So. Now, let's check out the inside. Here in the back seat, it's got this little armrest thing. It folds down and clips up for your cups. I don't know, I guess that, yeah, that opens up on to the trunk. So I guess if you had a cooler back there, it would be out of reach. And let's open that. That's pretty scratched up, isn't it? Oh, it's got air vents back here. That's a plus. Didn't even notice that. Like I said, I haven't really looked at this car real good yet. I've just been kind of driving it. And Oh, here's my stickers there and the CD. I don't know what CD that is. It ain't mine. Got these little is you push it to lock it and push it to unlock it as long as the fob the little key thing is like uh you know in your pocket <laughs> uh, i don't know if you could tell where the slow-mo will go it's got this wood grain there's my flashlight and the electric windows and the uh, memory seating the Yukon has that. My bet had that too. I had a 99 bet. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I like all this. This fancy looking stuff. I'm not real sure on the push button thing. I don't know. I'm just not used to it. I've never had anything. Oh, and it has the moonroof. Um, let's see. Oh, heated seats, and apparently it's all-wheel drive, but I guess it just depends on if you turn this on or off. Not real sure how that works, and I really honestly have no idea. This says, turn it back on where I can see where I'm at. This says shift lock, but it doesn't do anything, so I don't know. Uh, it does not have navigation, which is no biggie because I wouldn't use it anyway. I use my phone. All right, let's pop the hood. Which, <laughs> uh, for you people that like to look at the motors, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed here. You just can't see much. It's pretty dirty, though. But it's pretty cool, the brake fluid and stuff like that is under this inside side there they got all this covered up i guess to keep it uh, from water getting on it and whatnot and the battery's under that and over there it's just got a little battery i looked at it a little dura last <laughs> anyway The B6 V B E L. I don't know. Got quite a bit of power though. 
fire six cylinder. 129,000 miles. No hood light. Did they quit putting hood lights in cars? No. This SUV doesn't even have one. Yeah. And the doggone antenna back there that doesn't seem to work the XM radio very well. I don't know. Wouldn't know nothing about how to fix that or what to do with it. But this paint right here kind of bothers me. I, and you know, it might buff out. I, I don't know. I haven't tried it. I haven't cleaned this car up at all. So, you know. It's got little spots like down there on the carpet. Right there. I haven't cleaned it. Nothing. I just got in it and drove. I wanted to drive it for the weekend to see what's wrong here this got a little chip out of it right there doesn't it yeah something hit that and broke it no biggie but yeah this is uh when you start it up the steering wheel comes down the seat scoots up got a really good air conditioner now uh, this is the clock it's kind of no digital clock <laughs> I don't know all right let's shut this door and uh, get the air conditioner going ah, getting cool off hope y'all can still hear me this car is not the air conditioner is nowhere near as loud as the one that was in the Chevy Cruze I tell you one of the things I do really really like about this Sit back, get some Z's. Okay, we're supposed to be working, aren't we? Anyway, um, we can find a little button over here, or a little knob thing. So yeah, I think it will clean up. There's some spots on it here and there. Well, there's a horse fly in here. Let's let him go. Get on out of here. Help, bum us. No, he don't want to go. He's it was hot out there. But, uh, two things that I know that it needs, and so does the car lot where I'm getting it, and they've already got the parts ordered, and they're going to take care of it, is it needs brakes, and it needs bearings. And they've, they already know that, and they're going to get that done, regardless whether I buy it or not. Um, so it does have the dual... Uh, what do you call it? dual climate control where I can control my side and then you can control that side that's pretty cool the Yukon has that as well um, so tires or not tires brakes and bearings they already know about the fog light on the bottom left driver side doesn't work and I looked at a video on how to replace those that it's kind of a pain so because it looks like you got a the, inside the fender well that the plastic all that you got to pull all that out to get to it and uh, I'm gonna if I do get it I'm gonna see while they're doing the bearings and the brakes and all that if they wouldn't mind going ahead and popping that off since they'll they'll have it up where it won't be that big of a deal and I'll I'll buy it the light you know i look i think there was 14.99 something like that on amazon i don't know not that high and the little light on the door that when you open the door it kind of lights up the ground out there the one on the passenger side is out watch the video on that they just got a flathead screwdriver and kind of ease pop that out and unplug it and there it is that that's a simple fix i'm not worried about that one um, and as we've already discussed, I can't get the XM radio to tune in, so I don't know if it's a bent wire, broke wire, antenna, the stereo, everything on the stereo works good though. Um, 
And it needs an oil change. All the little maintenance things come up. Uh, you can go in there and actually disable them on this car. Which is kind of nice because you don't have to clear it every time you get in it and start it. I'll just, I'm not going to get the oil changed in it until I buy it. You know, if they want to do it, that's great. I don't know, maybe I can talk him into doing it. That saved 40 bucks. But anyway, I don't know anything else. My payments. Now, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a little personal here because I need your opinion and you can't hardly give me your opinion if you don't even know how much the car is going to cost. Right now, I'm paying... Well, I, I rounded up to uh, 220 a month for the cruise. And I told my car dealer I wanted to keep this car at about that price. Now, I don't think I mentioned it. This is a 2011 Infiniti G, uh, G37X. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Y'all yeah, probably know. Y'all saw the video when we was back there a while ago. Anyway, this is 2011. The Cruise is a 2014. And there's quite a bit of difference between a Cruise and an Infinity. As far as the ride goes and the drive goes. The Cruise drives and rides good. I've just heard recently that uh, those Cruises with turbos sometimes have some issues with the heating, overheating. And I've been finding that one out in this last couple of months, as y'all know. Y'all been watching the videos. Anyway, I'm paying $220 a month on that cruise. And I, I would like to keep this payment around that. And I think he said it would be for like 20 months. Now, if, the bottom line numbers, I honestly don't know. He told me, but I forgot. I worry, and, and I know. Even my dad was said, it doesn't matter how much it is a month, what is the bottom line? And I I, I know, I, I should have paid more attention to that. But I, I really don't know. Um, all I know is it's about 220 a month. And it, well, he said he could get it down to 270 if, nothing, if they didn't have to fix anything else besides the brakes and the bearings. But, uh, they might could go a little lower, he said. If, wait a minute. I was trying to get my story right here. He said, if they didn't have to do anything more than the brakes and the bearings, he might could come lower than that 270 and get closer to where I'm wanting it. So, what do y'all figure? 250 a month? As far as insurance goes, I have no idea. I know it's four years older or technically three years older than the cruise. Is that all it is? 2011? Yeah, three years old, older than the cruise. But it's a little pricier car. So insurance may stay about the same. Not real sure. But as you can see, there's plenty of room in here. Man, and it, it's got an excellent air conditioner. I love the car. The, my biggest drawback... And this is the kicker, especially in the kind of work we do, or the work I do. Um, about 14 to 17 miles a gallon is what I'm kind of seeing. And granted, a lot of that I've been sitting, like I said earlier, I've been sitting just idle like this right here. And, uh, you know, that burns gas. So I don't know, what do y'all think? Leave me your honest opinion down below. They have a 2010 Volkswagen CC or whatever. It kind of looks like the Jetta, only it's, I guess it came up before the Jettas. I don't know. And I drove it and it's got plenty of pep, but it's a turbo. It's one thing that worries me. And uh, honestly, I don't, I don't like it as well as this. It's, you know, I don't have to have nothing real fancy, but you know, I kind of like the fancy stuff. And it doesn't have the backup camera like this one does. And I, 
I used I've never had one up until I had the uh let's see what did I have oh I had a a uh, Toyota Camry that had it and the Cruises got it but I kind of got used to them they're nice I wish the Yukon had them because that's the one that really needs it because it's hard to see when you're backing up and how close you are to stuff with that but anyway if y'all got any questions that would help y'all make it to help y'all help me make a decision leave them down below any comments um whatever i just i honestly want y'all's opinion what do y'all think um the tags are fixing to go out actually this month so that's that's another added cost was that about eighty dollars here in texas um that's about it let me know what you think in the meantime Y'all keep smiling, be nice to one another, keep dashing, dancing, prancing, grubbing, and whatever it is you're doing, uh, flexing. <laughs> anyway, Amazon Flex, which I hear a lot about that. We just don't have it here. Oh, my phone. Now it's ringing. I think that was probably a text might be my boss i better check it anyway y'all keep on smiling be nice to one another and i'll see y'all in the next video bye for now